Hi, I'm Ty Adronis, and since there's a ton of videos out there on how to output build box for Android, I and none for iTunes, I decided to go ahead and make a video for you guys because I was pulling out my hair for hours. So I figured I'd finally contribute a little to the community instead of just using it. Okay, so here I have a game I've been working on called Drone Challenge. And it looks something like this. Let's uh, set Do this it. up on iPhone. There we go. Like this. Okay, Do so it. if we actually play the game, you can see it all works properly, and we just verify that everything works. Okay, so it works. Great. Okay, so we close that out. And so we have to set it up for export. And so we click on this little gear right here and we make sure, let me bring it in so you guys can see it. We make sure that all this stuff is set up. You make sure that you have a icon and this is 512 by 512. You're gonna need a 1024 by 1024 icon as well for the iTunes store. But this icon's used across Android and iOS and all that. Make sure you're set up on iOS here. You have to enter a bundle ID, and if you're a Java developer, you already know what this is. But um, think of this as a, a backwards web address, like it would be uh, dronechallenge.adronis.com. My last name is Adronis, so I'm using that right here. So you want to do com dot and then who you are and then dot and then the name of your app. No spaces, no special characters. Okay, and then this guy right here, this is the name on the device. So this is the little text that appears underneath your icon on the device. And then that's pretty much all you need to set up. Okay, you also need a version, but this can actually be set up in, um, in Xcode. And you can tell I'm on a PC right now, but you will need a Mac for the final steps of this. I know it sucks, but that's just the way that Apple sets everything up. So we hit OK, and now it's ready to export. So let's go ahead and export for iOS. And then the interface will pop up eventually. Sometimes you have to wait a little while because I don't know if you can tell right now, but uh, the little beach ball appeared. OK, so let's go over to my shared drive so that I can bring this over to a Mac, which is Beavis. And we already have Drone Challenge all the way up through 4. Let's just name this one 5. Now you're also going to need an Apple Developer Certificate. And I'm not going to go through that because that's going to make this video super long. There's plenty of information on that out there already. And you're going to have to set it up in your keychain and all that other stuff. This I'm just showing you how to make BuildBox export out of Xcode. Okay. So that's still going out. Um, looks like it might be done. Is it done? No, I'm still getting a beach ball. All right, so you have to wait for it to uh, compile all of the files for Xcode, which it's doing right now. So I'm doing this on a PC to show you guys. You don't need to be working on a Mac. All you need to do is at the final step. So you can always take your files over to your friend's Mac or whatever to do this. But uh, the final step needs to be done on, an, on a Mac. Um, okay, so still beach balling. Okay, and I can hear my hard drive pounding away. All right, done. Cool. So now I'm going to switch over to my Mac, and I'm just going to use some screen sharing here. There we go. Okay, so here I am on my Mac. Let's go ahead and close my Xcode window out there. And... Wow, why does it say Dropbox? I don't know. All right, let's close that. Go on over to my computers, Beavis. All right, Drone Challenge 5. I'm just going to drag this sucker over to my desktop and copy it. It's copying, copying, copying. It's not terribly large. And moving on along. It's just mostly the number of files that makes it take a while to transfer. So, all right, so once it's done transferring, we got Drone Challenge 5. 
open it up and you have this folder called iOS. Inside of there you're going to get this ptplayer.xcode project. It doesn't matter that everything's called ptplayer, okay, because what really matters is the name of your game. Then the name of your game is set inside of um, BuildBox, not, not inside of Xcode. So if I click on PT Player, I'm going to get all of these options. All right, and you can see the build identifier, which was the same as the bundle ID that, uh, that we, we set up. Okay, so you're going to need a unique version, or not a unique version, but a unique build. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm on version 1.0.3, so, or maybe 4. Okay, and so I know I'm on build 1.06, so I'm going to make this one 1.07. So those need to be unique. After you have your certificate set up and everything, you need to uh, either add an account, um, which is you know your iTunes account uh, that has the developer certificate associated with it, or just select it if you've already done this before. So I'm I'm selecting that, and then you absolutely have to set up require full screen. If you don't, you're going to get a bunch of errors when you actually go to upload it to the iTunes store. And it's going to break your heart because you're going to be pulling your hair out just trying to compile this code to get it uploaded. And then you're like excited once it compiles. And then once it uploads, you're going to get a bunch of errors because you didn't check this require full screen. All right. Then we go over to build settings. And inside of build settings, um, you don't have to do this part, but I do. I always set it for release, yes. and But this one you do have to do. Enable bitcode needs to be turned off. Otherwise, when you try to compile it, it called, called archiving it, uh, you're going to have errors kick out like crazy. Do not worry about this little warning. In fact, ignore it. It's going to ask you to update to uh, the latest standards, but yellow means it still passes. So don't do it. Don't mess with this at all. Just let it go. All right. So um, then under product, we go to... Oh, wait, first we have to do this. Okay, so you can always test this. You select whatever iDevice you want to test for, you know, iPhone 5, iPhone whatever. Uh, but I'm not going to test. I just want to kick it out because I've already tested this. And I don't want to bore you guys with that stuff. So iOS device. Then we go to product and archive now it's going to kick it out you can see all the little bar uh, up at the top there compiling everything and it takes a little bit and you have to keep your final itunes code under 100 megabytes now for android it's a little different android is 50 megabytes so if you pass for android you're probably going to pass for itunes so you're all good okay so now we have this Make sure it's the latest build, which it is, and we just click to upload to App Store. That's how simple it is. So we click upload to App Store, and we select the right account, and choose. And now it's preparing the archive, and it's going to upload everything. Now I'm making this look really simple, but this took hours upon hours upon hours of pulling out my hair, trying to figure out everything that was going wrong. Once you have that you need to enable your bitcode and you need to set everything to full screen, you're pretty much good to go. Once you know that, you can burn through this and it'll it'll uh it'll do it. Now, I'm also no in stuck in something known as uh processing hell, which means that uh the iTunes store is like has been processing all of my uploads forever which is why I have the the time to actually do this for you guys um, and I'm going to as soon as this is done I'm gonna switch over to the iTunes store interface which is really iTunes connect so you've already got your I, iTunes developer uh, your Apple developer certificate you're already a member of the developer network whatever it costs you a hundred bucks a year um, which is a freaking rip off by the way but anyway it costs you a hundred bucks a year then not only do you need that you also need iTunes connect and so it's iTunes connect dot apple dot com uh, and we'll go there in just a second it's been having a lot of problems the last few days 
which may be the reason why I'm stuck in processing hell is because there's kind of a backlog of people. Um, but it's uploaded submission successful. That's what you want to see. That's when you can finally let out a sigh of relief. So we hit done, and then I'm going to switch over to my web browser. All right. Okay, so inside of iTunes Connect, uh, this is what you, all the stuff that you have to fill out for your application. You have to put up some images, you have to do description and all this stuff. What you're really waiting on is being able to submit builds. And that doesn't become active until under pre-release, one of your builds becomes active. Now, it, right now, the one that I just uploaded says uploaded, but soon it's going to switch into processing, which it might already. So, nope, still uploaded. Um, eventually, it'll switch into processing. I'm just going to keep hitting refresh. And then once it's done processing, then it'll be ready, and under versions, we can actually... Uh, select it and submit it for review and then we have to wait patiently while Apple deems it good enough for their store. Okay, so this has been uh, Ty Adranis for how to get your build box applications out for iTunes. Um, hope that helped you guys. Thank you.